Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back this is Shah Fahad Khan on your screen now guys um, this video is specially for those students who've just entered their MBBS or just cleared their M uh, MDCAD and are transiting to the, their med schools now okay guys so in this video I'm gonna share my own personal first year experience of MBBS okay when I was in my first year recently meaning this year and I gave my exams alhamdulillah I cleared it now I'm uh, officially in the second year mashallah okay guys so now this video is specially for those students who i know when they'll enter med school they'll be almost like they'll feel lost okay but don't worry guys it's not that difficult okay you've done a levels you've got it gotten into med school now med school is gonna be fun okay so i'll explain what i mean by fun okay in just a bit so let's get started okay guys so first of all let's um take a quick recap to your A-levels or inter from whatever background you are okay so now guys in inter or A-levels the syllabus you were supposed to cover was a specified syllabus during a specified specific period of time that you were supposed to cover and once you are you were done with that you would then um, do your past papers and stuff and then get get uh, perfect at them and once you were done with those you would get just sit for the exam and get good grades right that's what most of you might have done who've entered the, um, the med schools or who will be entering med schools inshallah now guys some of us some of the students what they do is they study during the last month or last week or during the last few days these are uh, these are what i call the last minute learners okay and guys these last minute learners during inter or a levels this strategy usually did work and it usually did work very well for even for those students who didn't work throughout the year okay now guys uh, we we must have during that that a month or two before the caies we did see um some students who didn't study for a levels throughout their um their entire year meaning during most of their year but during the last three months or last four months or last two months they started out preparing rapidly you must have seen some of your friends preparing during that time frame that that gap that you get the self-study that they put in you might never have seen them doing that much effort throughout the year right and that effort usually pays off and you end up getting a good grade such as a's or b's or a stars and stuff like that right following okay guys now this was uh, a good strategy even for inter or a levels well not an excellent strategy because uh, this is not always advisable because uh, it's always good to start from day one and do stuff bit by bit but do something every day okay doing something every day is better than doing nothing okay and and cramming everything up for the last few days it's uh, very risky but still people do uh, manage getting a's okay but some of us do screw up our grades if uh, we follow this strategy so now guys the transition between inter and a levels the syllabus content the course that you have over there and the course that you have in your mbbs the transition between these two courses is huge okay there is a humongous difference between the course and syllabus outline of a levels as compared to mbbs okay now why am i saying that because in your mbbs you will feel as if each and every day of your school life is the same as those last few months before the caie that you used to prepare for okay and I, i'm sure most of you might feel that once med school starts okay it will be very overwhelming okay it's just a reality check i'm just preparing you mentally so that you don't get a mental breakdown once you enter your med school okay just be relaxed this is natural this is natural okay and guys do not forget that the, this is that you are not the only person uh, facing all of these issues every single classmate of your class would be facing the same issues right because all of the system is new to all of them okay so now guys this mbbs how to tackle it okay are we supposed to study every single minute of our lives for for these mbbs classes or what which of course isn't possible we do have our own personal lives as well we do have family time we do have other things to do we do have hangouts with friends and stuff right but uh, are we supposed to sacrifice everything else for our only mbbs or not now that's a question i'm about to answer here okay so now 
stick around and pay close attention now guys okay these students who will feel that this is what's happening to them during the first month or during the first few days of mbbs guys remember the first module the foundation module of mbbs usually is very very long okay the universities i don't know why they plan it so long it is easy it has stuff from a levels from inter from your previous knowledge but it's still the longest uh, subject or if not the longest it is one of the longest uh, modules out there okay so you've got a lot of stuff to cover you've got like 10 to 15 books to read and i know that's huge that's huge but you don't need to do the entire books okay you just need to do specific topics which were outlined in the scores now guys since as i to told you that the mbbs syllabus is on a whole different level now it is very far more extensive than a levels we've covered that point as well now it feels as if it's the last month before the CAI. We've talked about that as well. Okay, each day and every single day. I've even, I've heard this from a few students that it's, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> like, how are we going to do our own stuff with all of this? Okay, guys, now see, the key to this is pretty simple. The answer to this is pretty simple. I hope everyone can see this word over here. It says consistent. Okay, consistent. Okay, now guys, in MBBS, being hard wor working, being hard working alone is not sufficient. Being a smart worker alone is not sufficient. So if these two things, which actually means everything, almost everything while you are studying, you need hard work, you need smart work in order to complete your syllabus. If these two are not sufficient, then what's the third thing to, uh, that will help you cover all the syllabus in time prepare you for your exams and clear the exams with good gpa or good grades although gpa doesn't really matter that much as the students are struggling for it but still now guys consistency is the third factor that really matters okay consistency do little but do it every single day okay do parts by parts but do it every day reason why I'm, I'm saying that is because the syllabus is extremely extensive okay syllabus of mbbs is extremely extensive and you will tend to forget what you learned during your class a few days after you've uh, you've studied them okay so like for instance i study um, cell physiology today i might okay cell physiology is a pretty simple topic we've done that in our a levels so of course i'm not likely to um forget that but for instance uh, there's some new topic okay in any of the uh, subjects i've already talked about the syllabus outline the syllabus guidelines and the books etc of uh, the entire first year mb uh, foundation module of mbbs in my previous videos that i've uploaded so far the links to all of them have been given in the description so do check them out as well okay because now is the perfect time to start your prep okay to get a head start of the rest of the class okay so that you could uh, end up completing the syllabus before time now guys the syllabus is extremely extensive and there will be a lot of new terms a lot of new concepts you will definitely learn it today for instance you will learn it you will remember it today but for instance if i ask you um after four days the same concept and if you haven't revised it then you'll more likely you'll it will be a greater chance that you'll forget it right it will be a greater chance that you might not remember it so for that it's important to stay consistent and keep revising the previous stuff do it bits by bit do it little by little but do it do it every single day okay you have to start preparing from day one in your mbbs i'm not saying give the entire day one to mbbs i'm just saying do give a bit of your day one to mbbs and then as time passes and as exam ap approach you start increasing your time so this way you'll have time for other activities along with your mbbs studies okay that's uh, that's something that i was a lot of confused during my foundation module and, uh, and guys it's natural during your first month most of you might not even um get um, what what should i say adapted to the system of mbbs as well because um, it is new it is new i agree it was new for me as well and it i felt very i felt the 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 studies were very very challenging for me as well as a new mbbs student but still guys as soon as you give your first module although we didn't have our module immediately after the foundation module because of the COVID situation but still guys once you are done with your first module 
you'll get to know what sort of questions are asked, what sort of stuff you are supposed to know, what sort of stuff you are expected to know from the entire course. And guys, don't worry, you have your seniors. The seniors are very, very kind. They do give out the brilliant guidelines to you as well. Okay, I do have the guideline videos as well. Okay, on the entire foundation module, but you do have other very, very nice seniors who will make their guidelines or our seniors, even our seniors have made their guidelines. They are very helpful. Okay, they'll, uh, they'll have the tips and tricks to prepare for your foundation module or for other modules throughout your first year MBBS. So do not worry. Okay, then. So this is the key that you need to be very, very consistent throughout your first year. Um, first year, yeah. Then secondly, guys, cramming is never advisable. Okay, what do I mean by cramming? C-R-A-M, cram. What does cram mean? Cram means doing a lot of stuff, preparing a lot of um, a lot of syllabus before a few, uh, in a short period of time before the exam. Okay, that's called cramming. And that is, what, that is the information that you'll more likely to forget easily as compared to the information that you learn over a spaced interval over a long period of time for instance if you start learning today and you do um, you give half an hour to a subject and then half an hour to another topic and half an hour to another topic and then tomorrow you give half an hour more half an hour is just an example okay I, I'm sure half an hour will not be sufficient you will need to at least give one hour to every topic okay in order to remember it nicely but if you give um, if you take the same topic uh, let's say tomorrow okay and you revise you review what you did today and you learn um, a bit of it again a bit of it meaning you you learn a bit of it after that okay so bit by bit you you build your wall okay your wall of knowledge okay brick by brick you build it up okay so that's something that you'll tend to not forget easily and that's what uh, that's something that you'll recall easily during your exams okay and most of the uh, the universities they have their mcq exams so mcq exams are pretty easy to attempt i know you just remember the stuff from the answer options and take it out okay but some some universities i heard they do have written theory exams as well so guys just keep yourself prepared okay prepared for everything that that will come for you keep the syllabus under your control and to do that in MBBS it's the consistency that's the key okay hard work and smart work alone will not help you finish off the entire MBBS course before time unless and until you are consistent okay and you are you need to persevere okay you start out and you don't quit okay if you quit then you'll tend to forget a lot of it even if you start resuming it again and again like after let's say there's a one month gap in between the topic that you did today and um this the part of it of that topic if you do the part of that topic after a month you'll tend to forget even this part so do not take such long gaps okay take short intervals but be consistent learn everything that you can but guys now the best thing is over here that some of the students what they do is they they follow their own techniques that you they used to have in their a levels or enter okay they used to make long notes and then they used to learn them and then they used to practice that's the best technique i know but guys what if you don't have enough time okay sometimes it it does happen quite a few times that you, you you end up losing a lot of time and other stuff so now the best thing over there is to to do to give a lot of time to your major subjects first okay give more time to your majors as compared to your minors so even if you are following that strategy you'll still end up uh, completing most of the course before time okay and guys in the end it doesn't matter how much you've done what really matters is that you've given it your best okay so I won't advise that during your first week you start giving like 10 hours to your studies give five hours give four hours but as soon as the first week is over or the even the second week is over then you start coming back to your track okay you start giving in more hours but make sure you take breaks in between them this is what I learned during my first year of MBBS okay that you need to be a lot more consistent than being a hard worker or a smart worker and uh, the syllabus of MBPS is gonna be very overwhelming so do not 
get freaked out by just looking at the books okay i know there are a lot of books and guys a, a very common misconception some of you might think that these are the books that we'll be studying only during our foundation module and then we'll need more books during the other modules no guys these are the books that you'll be using throughout your first year okay you there's a very rare chance that you might get another book or you might requ be required to get another book but guys most of the times it's the books during the first module that you need to use throughout your year okay hope this video finds most of you well and guys be mentally prepared okay this, this was just a fact checker video for you guys that uh, mbbs it's gonna be a very long journey okay ha mujhe pata hai kafi logo ne ye kaha hoga ki chalo bhai enter kar lo md cat clear kar lo acche grades le aao achhi uni mein chale jao फिर उसके बाद मजे ही मजे नहीं गाय ऐसा कुछ नहीं ठीक है मजे हैं बट उस सेंस में कि क्या कहते हैं उस सेंस में मजे हैं कि आपके पास ये टेंशन नहीं होगी कि किस यूनि में जाना है क्या क्या करियर होगा बट अब आप आ चुके हैं दिस इज द रियल टाइम टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग हार्ड गाइस ठीक है बट मैं अगेन ये नहीं कह रहा कि आप पूरा का पूरा टाइम इसी को दें ठीक है आप फैमिली के साथ भी टाइम गुजारें आप बाकी चीज़ों में भी काम टाइम गुजारे हैं ठीक है मैं खुद भी मैं मतलब हर वक्त पढ़ता नहीं रहता मैं फैमिली के साथ भी टाइम गुजारता हूँ मैं बाहर भी चला जाता हूँ सुबह वॉक भी करने भी जाता हूँ तो बाकी चीज़ें भी साथ साथ चलाइएगा ज़रूर ठीक है इसका ये मतलब हर किस नहीं कि बस पढ़ाई 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 ठीक है आप पढ़ें 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 लेकिन बैलेंस रखिएगा ठीक है क्योंकि अब आप एक बार एम में आ गए ना तो आपकी लाइफ पढ़ाई वाली है ठीक है पढ़ाई के बगैर आपकी लाइफ चलनी नहीं है आई होप Uh, this video was good for you guys and thank you if you have co comments any good suggestions so please do leave them in the comment section